Blessings and greetings unto you, my brothers and sisters, to Yahushua HaMashiach, or Yeshua. Hallelujah. I plead the blood of the Lamb, the holy name of Yahushua HaMashiach, or Yeshua, over you. And I thank you, Father in heaven, for blessing all my brothers and sisters, to Yahushua HaMashiach. I bless you, my eternal, eternal parent, to Yahushua HaMashiach. Thank you, Most High Father and Mother, for blessing all of your children, through Yahushua HaMashiach, and blessed be your holy name, yod heh vav -He. and blessed be the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, hallelujah, amen. I am blessed to come unto you in charity and generosity and divine love and pure love and true love and sincere love and serendipitous love, and I am going to read from the Stick of Yahuda, commonly known as the Holy Bible. This is David's kindness. This is uh, Second Samuel, and we're going to read out of uh, chapter 10. That way you get a little uh, insight about how the world hates charity, generosity, and kindness, and how the world is nice, meaning fake, effeminate, false. Um, the, other, the word nice comes from the root, the Latin root, nesi, which means ignorant. Okay, and uh, when the time comes, then I'll show you a picture of what the spirit of nice looks like. In the Miriam Dictionary, they show the spirit of nice with witches surrounding it, and the witches are giving this horned demon um, their babies, and they're smiling real nice as they give the babies to the demon. And then above this demon, there's other uh, demons flying around, and that's the definition of the spirit of nice. All right. You cannot find the spirit of nice in the Bible because it is not one of the Holy Spirits. It's not a Holy Spirit. It's a satanic spirit. And that's what the evil spirits hide behind. All right. So let their mass melt. We thank you, Father in heaven. Through Yahushua HaMashiach. Aman. All right. Here we go. And it came to pass after this that the king of the children of Ammon died. And Hanan, his son, reigned in his stead. Then said David, I will show kindness unto Hanan, the son of Nahash, as his father showed kindness unto me. And David sent to comfort him by the hand of his servants for his father. And David's servants came into the land of the children of Ammon. And the princes of the children of Ammon said unto Hanan, Their lord, Thinkest thou that David does honor thy father, that he has sent comforters unto thee? Hath not David rather sent his servants unto thee to search the city, and to spy it out, and to overthrow it? Wherefore Hanan took David's servants, and shaved off the one half of their beards, and cut off their garments in the middle, even to their buttocks, and sent them away. When they told it unto David, he sent to meet them, because the men were greatly ashamed. And the king said, Tarry at Jericho until your beards be grown, and then return. And when the children of Ammon saw that they stank before David, the children of Ammon sent a hired, sent and hired the Syrians of Beth Roab, and the Syrians of Zobah, twenty thousand footmen, of King Maacha, a thousand men, and of Ishtab, twelve thousand men. So a total of 33,000 men they hired because they knew that they had stank. And when David heard of it, he sent Joab and all the hosts of the mighty men. And the children of Ammon came out and put the battle in array at the entering uh, in of the gate. And the Syrians of Zobah and Rehob and Ishtob and Maacha were by themselves in the field. When Joab saw that the front of the battle was against him before and behind he chose of all the choice men of Yasarela or Israel and put them in array against the Syrians and the rest of the people he delivered into the hand of Abish, Abishai his brother that he might put them in array against the children of Ammon and he said if the Syrians be too strong for me then thou shalt help me but if the children of Ammon be too strong for thee then I will come and help thee. Be of good courage, and let us play the men for our people and for the cities of our El. And Jehovah do that that seemeth Jehovah good. And Joab drew nigh, and the people that were with him, and the battle against the Syrians, and they fled before him. 
And when the children of Ammon saw that the Syrians were fled, then fled they also before Abishai and entered into the city. So Joab returned from the children of Ammon and came to Jerusalem. And when the Syrians saw that they were smitten before Israel, they gathered themselves together. And Hadar Eser sent and brought out the Assyrians that were behind the river, and they came to Elam. And Sobak, the captain of the host of Hadar Eser, went before them. And when it was told to David, David gathered all Yasarela, or translated as Israel, together and passed over Jordan and came to Elam. And the Syrians set themselves in array against David and fought with the king. And the Syrians fled before Israel, and David slew the men of seven hundred chariots of the Syrians and forty thousand horsemen, and smote Shobach, the captain of their host, who died there. And when all the kings that were servants of Hadar saw that they were smitten before Israel, they made peace with Israel and served them. So the Syrians, fe- so the Syrians feared to help the children of Ammon any more. So you see that kindness always pays off. And David, was he did this in the kindness of his heart, and they repaid him with evil. So, Father in heaven, I thank you that all those who would repay your children for evil, for doing charity, generosity, or kindness, that they would be smitten, that you would strike them and smite them before us, wherever and however you'd want to, through your holy angels, through the earth, and through all elements. And we thank you, Jehovah, through Yahushua HaMashiach, Amen and that they would be at peace with us, and that they would serve us now, as it is foretold through the prophet Isaiah in chapter 11, that the children of Moab, Ammon, would serve us and be under our blood authority, be under our command. And we thank you through the command and blood authority of Yahushua HaMashiach you give unto us. Aman and hallelujah, Hove. Aman. Now we'll continue on into the scriptures the Holy Spirit gave me. I'm going to put the word of God, the word of Yah on the earth now. And uh, this is Nehemiah, chapter 9, verse 17. And refused to obey, neither were mindful of thy wonders that thou didst among them, but hardened their necks, and in their rebellion appointed a captain to return to their bondage. But thou, Jehovah, art an El, ready to pardon, gracious, gracious, good, merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and forsookest them not. And now we're in Isaiah 55, verse 7. Now let the wicked forsake their way, and the unrighteous man or woman his or her thoughts, and let them return unto Jehovah, and Jehovah will have mercy and loving kindness upon thee, and to our El, for Yah will abundantly pardon if you repent and come unto him through his son, Yahushua HaMashiach, our Yeshua, commonly known as Jesus the Christ, our salvation. Now we're in Jonah. Jonah means dove in English. Jonah chapter 4, verse 2. And he prayed unto Jehovah and said, I pray thee, O Jehovah, was not this my saying when I was yet in my country? Therefore I fled before unto Tarshish. Tarshish would be Portugal. For I knew that thou art a gracious El, and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repentest thee of the evil. Jonah chapter 2, verse 8. They that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. The Holy Spirit said, read that again to them. They that observe lying vanities or lying deceits forsake their own mercy. In all their affliction, he was afflicted. He meaning Christ or Yahushua HaMashiach, Yahushua the Nazareth. In all their affliction, Christ, or Messiah, was afflicted, and the angel of Jehovah's presence saved them in his loving kindness and in his mercy. Jehovah, Yehoshua HaMashiach, redeemed them, and he bare them and carried them all the days of old. But they rebelled and vexed his Holy Spirit. This is Isaiah 63, 9 and 10. And he carried them all the days of old, but they rebelled and vexed his Holy Spirit. Therefore, he was turned to be their enemy, and Jehovah fought against them. 
So I pray that you do not vex the Holy Spirit and that Jehovah does not turn to be your enemy because you will not win if he fights against you because all the hosts of heaven will help him. All those who are faithful to Jehovah, to Yahushua HaMashiach, the Lamb of Yah, the Lion of Yahudah, the Word of Yah, the Word of God. Now we're in the book of Esther, chapter 2, verse 9. And the maiden pleased him, and she obtained kindness of him, and he speedily gave her her things for purification with such things as belonged to her, and seven maidens that were meet to be given her out of the king's house, and he preferred her and her maids unto the best place of the house of the women. Now we're in the book of Esther, chapter 4, verse 8. He also gave Hathak a copy of the law made public in Susa concerning the Jews' destruction so that Hathak could show so that Hathak could show it to Esther and report it to her. Through him Mordecai ordered her to go to the king to seek the king's kindness and his help for her people. So you always want a king to be kind to you. And Esther went to the king to seek for his kindness and his help for his people. And the kindness of Jesus Christ, the kindness of Yahushua HaMashiach, the kindness of Yeshua Messiah is what brought me to repentance. Now I am one of the ones who was brought to repentance through kindness. There are other ones who will not come to repentance unless their world is destroyed and they lose everything. So I pray that you're one of the ones who comes to repentance through mercy and kindness. If not, then I pray that you will come when you lose everything. It's your choice, but some people only humble themselves when they've lost everything, and then they'll cry out to God. Um, and then there's other people who will listen when they're told that they're doing something wrong. They listen and repent of it and turn away from it and stop doing it, and then they become a new creature in Yahushua HaMashiach. There's two different kinds of children, those that you can talk to and they'll repent and those that um, need to be beat or those that can only be disciplined and they turn bitter. They're not, I don't know how to explain it, they don't listen when they're disciplined. All right. Um, this is Yol chapter 2, verse 13. And rend your heart and not your garments and return unto Jehovah your Elohai. For Yah is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil. And then the Holy Spirit guides me to read the whole chapter of Micah, verse 7. And it says, read the entire chapter, saith Jehovah, of Micah, chapter 7. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, for helping me to find the, uh, Micah in here. It's Esther Psalms Proverbs Isaiah Okay um, book. Here we go Micah chapter 7 Thank you Holy Spirit for helping me to turn to it Woe is me for I am as when they have gathered the summer fruits as the grape gleanings of the vintage, there is no cluster to eat. My soul desired the first ripe fruit. The good man is perished out of the earth, and there is none upright among men. They all lie in wait for blood. They hunt every man his brother with a net, that they may do evil with both hands earnestly. The prince asketh, and the judge asketh for a reward. So I hope that you understand this. The prince asketh and the judge asketh for a reward. So when they do wicked and evil, these secret combinations, they do their hand signs and then they bribe each other and pay each other off and they defend each other no matter what sins they've done or what murderous thing they've done. Um, they st stick together as a band. Um, you know, the secret societies and secret combinations, um, also known as the band of Gadianton. And the wicked one, the evil one, um, Lucy, he's, uh, he uh, helps them and gives them their secret things like he did to Cain in the old days, um, the leader. Anyway, 
that they may do evil with both hands earnestly, the prince asketh, and the judge asketh for reward, and the great man, he uttereth his mischievous desire. So they wrap it up. The best of them is as a briar. The most upright is sharper than a thorn. Yes, a thorn hedge, the day of thy watchman and thy visitation cometh. Now shall be their perplexity. Hallelujah. Trust ye not in a friend, put ye not confidence in a guide. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom. For the son dishonoreth the father, the daughter riseth up against her mother, the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are the men of his own house. Therefore I will look unto Jehovah, I will wait for the El of my Yeshua. Eli will hear me. Therefore I will look unto Jehovah. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy, when I fall. I shall arise when I sit in darkness. Jehovah will be a light unto me. I will bear the indignation of Jehovah because I have sinned against him until Jehovah plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. Then she, that is my enemy, shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is Jehovah Eloheinu? Where is Jehovah thy God? Mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mirror of the streets, just as she was trodden down by King Yehu long ago. He trampled her under the hoofs of his horse. Yes, and the dogs ate everything but her skull, her hands, and her feet. In the day that the walls are to be built, in, the de in that day will the decree be far removed. In the day also he shall come even to thee from Assyria, and from the fortified cities, and from the fortress, even to the river, and from sea to sea, or as they now say, from sea to shining sea, and from mountain to mountain, notwithstanding the land will be desolate because of them that dwell therein for the fruit of their doings, because they've murdered over 153 million babies here. They bash in their heads, they rip their, leg, they rip their arms and legs off, and then they grind them up, put them into cosmetics, or they put them, you know, grind them up, put them into food, ketchup, um, potato chips, all kinds of different things, uh, junk food, all kinds of different stuff. Um, anyway, so that's why it's coming upon them. Notwithstanding, the land will be desolate because of them that dwell therein for the fruit of their doings. Feed thy people with the rod, the flock of thine inheritance, thy flock of the heritage which dwell solitary in the wood, in the mist of Carmel. Let them feed in Bashan and Gilead as in the days of old. According to the days of thy coming out of the land of Egypt will I show unto him marvelous things. Hallelujah. The nations shall see and be confounded at all their might. Yes, the nations will be confounded at all their might. They will lay their hand upon their mouth. Their ears will be deaf. They will lick the dust like a serpent. And they will lick the dust like a serpent, okay? And we thank you, Jehovah, for remembering us, for we are only dust. And we thank you through Yahushua HaMashiach, our Yeshua. Hallelujah. Amen. So you see, that's why they the serpents eat. The serpents eat the humans, okay? They eat the dust. They lick the dust. They drink our blood. They eat our flesh. I hope that you understand this now. It doesn't mean the dirt, the dust. We are created. Adam was created from dust. That's why Lucifer refused to worship him. Because he said, I'm fire and spirit. I refuse to worship a being created from dust. All right. They shall lick the dust like a serpent. They shall move under their holes like worms of the earth. They shall be afraid of Jehovah our God and shall fear because of thee. Who is a God like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity and passeth by his transgression of the remnant of his heritage? He retaineth not his anger forever because Jehovah delighteth in mercy. Yes, he delighteth in loving kindness. 
He will turn again. He will have compassion upon us. He will subdue our iniquities, and thou will cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. Thou will perform the truth to Yaakov and the mercy to Abraham, which thou hast sworn unto our fathers from the days of old. And we thank you, Jehovah, through Yahushua HaMashiach. Amen. So that's the book of Micah, chapter 7. And then I'll get to the other scriptures now. I'm going to put the Word of God back upon the earth now. All right. And here we go. All right. So now we are at Yol chapter 2, verse 17. Between the porch and the altar. Yes, between the porch and the altar. Let the priests, Jehovah's ministers, weep. Let them say, have mercy and loving kindness upon your people. And please don't make your inheritance a disgrace. An example of failure among the nations, the pagans. Why should they say among the peoples, where, are their, where is their God? Now then, Jehovah became passionate, zealous about his land, and had mercy and loving kindness upon his people. Now we go to the book of Daniel, chapter 14, verse 27. Wherefore, O king, let my counsel be acceptable unto thee, and break off thy sins by righteousness and thy iniquities by showing loving kindness and mercy to the poor, if it may be a lengthening of thy tranquility. And we thank you, Jehovah. Daniel 16, verse 11. Just then these men all ganged together. They came upon Daniel praying and seeking loving kindness and mercy from God. Now we're at Job chapter 10, verse 12. Life and kindness you gave me, and you oversaw and preserved my breath. And we're going to end here, and then I'll do another video. I bless you through the charity and generosity, the unfailing love of Jehovah and Yeshua HaMashiach.